It is ironic that the so-called most transparent administration in history took three years to dispel rumors about the president's birthplace. Now, the anointed one must have been busy playing golf, appearing on Oprah, attending New York City fundraisers, which he spent the rest of his day doing today. Now, meanwhile, the women of The View didn't see this as an issue of transparency, but rather a case of his critics being racist. It's very racist because, in other words, you say you can't, he couldn't get into Harvard on his own. He didn't write his book. He can't fathom that a black man could be that smart. That's what's behind this. Uh, it is it very is. difficult right. on a daily basis to see this stuff and not just say, you know, this is what it is. But I have been raised to think, okay, well, maybe that's not else. what they mean. Right. Maybe let me figure it out. But yeah. I have to think say, again. I'm really, well, I do think again, yeah. but you know, being black, when you say, you know, this is racist, 9,000 people say, oh no, you're just playing the race card. Well, you know, I'm playing the damn card now. All right, joining me with Reaction, the author of the New York Times number one bestseller, Culture of Corruption, Michelle Malkin is with us. Uh, Michelle, welcome back. Thanks for having me back, Sean. I even watched part of the exchange, this exchange, and people are suggesting, and I played basketball as a kid, I played a ton of hoops, a lot, that, well, well he's, he's out playing basketball. Somehow, that's a suggestion. The president literally today went to fundraisers, taped Oprah, you know, he, he said, you know, no time for the silliness. He has a lot of important things to do. I don't think taping Oprah and playing golf and, and his other extracurricular activities is, is more important than, say, fixing the economy. But what's your reaction? He yeah, I think we had the same reaction. I don't know about you, but it was hard not to choke on my coffee this morning as I was watching this press conference and watching this man who has been the epitome of unseriousness wagging his finger, Mr. Waggy McFinger Wagger, at uh, the media and uh, everyone else in, in public life and the, the public square for uh, being distracted. I mean, the fact is that uh, so much of this controversy and this issue has been a huge useful tool for the left-wingers in the media who have tried to demonize every last uh, conservative activist and conservative politician, conservative in public life, try to marginalize them as the most extreme kind of conspiracist. And, and um, it has also helped uh, the media uh, boost the candidacy of somebody who I do not consider a bona fide conservative, somebody who is sucking oxygen out of serious debates, bona fide limited government issues and that of course uh, is Donald Trump and look I over the last two and a half years Sean um, I've gotten a lot of heat from the so-called birther faction and just to correct Juan Williams it's not just so-called Republicans who have pushed some of this movement in fact most mainstream Republicans in office have not pushed this thing it's a lot of independents um, it's a lot of people who've engaged in uh, the same kind of fraud that they are now uh, accusing yeah. President Obama of and and I've been very cautious and I've been um, very clear in my warning that you got to pick and choose your battles um, and I said two years ago that I believed Barack Obama was born in Hawaii I believe that this long form birth certificate is bona fide a lot of the questions that are being raised now about Photoshop and Illustrator and blah 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 I think are very far-fetched and the, and in the meantime grassroots conservatives who've been in the slog in the fight for a long time long before for Johnny come latelys and Tea Party opportunists like Donald Trump came along have a lot of work to do. We've had a lot of work to do to undo the damage that this man has See, done in office, and I that's where I've chosen point. to invest my time and energy. The only thing that I this wasn't my issue either, but as time went on and and Donald Trump brought up the issue, I just seemed to me just release it and it's over. It's now released, and unless anyone comes up with this big smoking gun, it's not an issue. We got to focus on serious issues. The country's in a serious time. I'm very concerned, though. I, I was a little surprised and, and a little disappointed with Whoopi Goldberg yesterday, who I know, who I interview and get along with great, uh, about mm -hmm. her comments uh, today. Yes. Uh, similarly, NBC hosts have been making similar comments. And by the way, the biggest birther of all was Chris Matthews, demanding the long-form <laughs> certificate release it. Um, Tavis well, Smiley right. said that, that Trump and the Tea Party are going to make this presidential race the ugliest, most racist in history. All of these charges about racism now if you bring up issues involving Barack Obama and that is that that to yeah. me I don't know if that's a sign of desperation but it's certainly not good for the country 
Well, the race card hasn't just been the last refuge of liberal scoundrels. It's always the first refuge of liberal scoundrels. So this is nothing new. Every time the conservatives cough, sneeze, or breathe, it's racist. The Tea Party movement, the bona fide Tea Party movement over the last two and a half years has had to deal with these charges. Every Republican in, 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 in the public square has had to. And of course, and speaking as a minority conservative myself, uh, even brown skin, black skin, yellow skin, if you're a conservative, it doesn't enough inoculate you from these charges. It's just something that we have to deal with and, and face forthrightly. Um, I think you make a, a completely legitimate point about holding Barack Obama to his own boastful promises about transparency. And there's so much on the table that he needs to be pinned to the wall to. I don't care so much about his college transcripts as I do about the stonewalling from his Justice Department, from his Interior Department, his Health Department, every single crack, crook, uh, crook and cranny, oh. nook and cranny, I would argue, uh, in, in this administration needs to be pinned to the wall. I would argue it doesn't matter if he's a straight-A student. He's, he's not governing the country. We're literally he's leading us into a significant decline. And as America goes, I argue, so does the world. And his policies are failing. So it doesn't matter what his grades were at this point. Michelle Malkin, great insight. Thanks for being with us. You bet. And still ahead, liberal protesters.